is up guys? This is a very different type of video. You are seeing my hands. I'm still getting out of frame. The camera is not in the specific spot I'm used to. So I'm trying to have like a marker point to where I know where to put my hands. So if this video is very choppy and weird, uh, okay, so I can go as far as this. I'm, I'm marking myself. So we got one of these pop and cook in Japanese kits. I bought this on Amazon for like $4. Service wasn't the best, but hey. Oh yes, good, I have my scissors. We're gonna need that. Now, the only problem is all the instructions are in Japanese. So I see your boy Kai here had to print them in English. Because I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> I can't even get into the frame myself on my face. I look like complete crap, so sorry guys. I literally was staying up editing oh, last night, but urgh, box. Oh yes, and I forget that Japanese like their package inside package. I don't need the box really anymore. I have a towel with me to be on the safe side if um I need to, uh, you know, if I spill water because this thing can take water, just not as well. So, alrighty, so I have to keep this because I don't have any tape on me. And my tape, oh no, my tape's over there. Okay, so, yeah, they just love their package inside packages. At least they're, um, they labeled them differently. I see these all over, I saw these all over YouTube like a couple of years ago and I wanted to share one for myself. All oh, the trash will just go back in the box. Okay. Okay, I know I'll definitely need a knife because I heard this plastic knife doesn't work well. This little plastic doodad that they give you. Yeah, they, so. Oh my God, the cup is so cute. I'm definitely gonna use this for something. Give it the cup. And I know you're supposed to separate all of these. I will be trying this for sure, tasting it. Okay. I also have the instructions, like I said, in English. Do, 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 do. I'm debating on voiceovering this, but I remember that the voiceovers take forever to edit. In a way, because I have to have literally no sound, so it's best to do it on weekends, but the problem is I'm busy on all the weekends. The reason I say weekends is because my, um, my apartment complex, literally the apartment next door is getting repaired. So there's a lot of construction noises next door. So that's one of the reasons. So I know this is, this is the drink. So I'm just gonna put the packet in there just so I don't forget. This is the bun. This is bun. This is cheese, ketchup, uh, French fries, and burger. Now I heard the burger one smells the worst. So in this little thingy with the ridges, you mix up your fry mix. So. I'll make the little fry thing later. Cause I gotta cook this all this in the microwave. Now it tells me that my French fries, if I have a 600 watt microwave to cook it for 30 seconds. I have a 900 watt microwave. I think it's 900. I know it's a lot, so I'm only probably gonna cook it for like 10 seconds. So, oh yes. And then we're gonna take this with two of these little scoops this is your scooper oh and be careful this is very sharp so we're gonna take our fry packet best way to get the powder to the bottom is actually to smack it against something that's why you see a lot of people smack the things on their hands it smells like instant mashed potatoes but more powdery i guess so i have to fill these things to the top now I know I'm very easy at making messes. So one, two. Alrighty, my back is already killing me, yay. Going off to a great start. Now we just mix. Mixy, 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 mixy. I gotta mix this off camera, sorry guys. Just gotta, cause I can't see. <laughs> it's supposed to mix it thoroughly. 
Some people say that you can mix it in the flat one right here, but that has a lot of different other things, so. Hey, powder. And when you're done mixing, you're supposed to, it's supposed to be the consistency of mashed potatoes, according to the YouTube videos I watched. So, ow, my back. Jeez, my back! It does have the consistency of mashed potatoes. So then you're supposed to, ooh, this feels weird. I like playing with this. So you're supposed to push it into the crevices and make sure you get into the ridges because this is your guide to cut the fries. Guide to cut the fries. I rhyme. So I'm trying to get them all in here. And we're going to set these off to the side for now because we're supposed to microwave all this. Yeah, so let me just make sure. Okay. That's why I brought the towel so I can wipe my hands off every time. Then it's saying put it in the microwave and then cut it with the worst knife ever. Yeah, I, I can feel this, guys. This knife sucks. Okay, the next is to make the patty. Uh, this one's supposed to smell like crap like really badly, so <laughs> I'm not gonna have fun mixing this thing. I may have to sit back a little. Oh, I do have my pillow, my uh, couch pillows with me. Hopefully this will help my back a little. Oh God, this does smell. Okay, so you mix the, pa uh, the patty with two scoops as well. Now this is supposed to make two burgers. One double and one single. Well, mine are both going to be single because I'm really bad at cutting with a knife. I really actually am, guys. So then we're going to take the little doodad and mix. And this is supposed to kind of turn into a ball. This stuff smells so weird. Like, what the heck, man? I can't mix, and I'm not even mixing in frame. Ugh. I will have to change the battery soon. Damn it! Damn it! Nugget smudge, knuckle. They did say I can go in there and mix it with my hands if it's not mixing properly. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the spoon there. Ugh. Because I am also supposed to put it in the mold, the patty mold, which is the middle one right here. And I'm doing this off camera because, like I said, I got to make sure it gets in there and doesn't get into the other two. Because these two parts are for the bun. Trying to get in frame. Measuring cups in the way. These two parts are for the bun. This is for the patty. Oh, my hands are going to smell so bad. Now it tells me I have to wash it. Ugh. Or at least wipe it out. Ooh. Yeah, I should have got paper towels. Nope, I don't have any on me. Dang it. I don't feel like getting up. That's why. I'm lazy right now. Normally weekends are my lazy days. Me. Yeah. Got to clean, got to clean. Okay, we're cleaning up. Now it tells me to mix the bun. Let me clean off my little spoon, doodad. Now it tells me to mix the buns. And this says two cups. Now this is supposed to have the consi consistency of melted peanut butter. This doesn't smell like anything. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sniffing everything because I'm... I'm weird. <laughs> I'll use this as my spoon rest. No, this is two cups full. This is why I put it in the measuring cup because it's easier than doing it from this directly from the sink. Now we mix, 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 mix. It's supposed to have the consistency of peanut butter. And there, you just mix until there's no lumps think I put too much water because I also heard that the the recipe is a little off and some people said to put one and a half which is better I mean I'm just following the recipe because I never did this 
then you're supposed to take it and... Okay, now it's starting to smell like a bread. Fill that up to the line. That's filled up to the line. And then the rest will go in this one. I highly doubt this is going to be enough for two burgers. They also said these things rise real fast. Rise. So that's why you have to fill it up to the line. Okay. So I might have to take a little bit out of this one. Just a little. And put it into this one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to go put these in the microwave. The french fries have to go for about 10 seconds along with the burger. So they go for about 10 seconds each. I'll be back. Bye. I'm back. I brought a cutting board. Move that before that turns into a disaster. I microwaved them. They only took about a couple seconds. About 15 to be exact. The french fries took about 20 seconds and the I forgot I, I, I'm in my little uh, rolling island I got from my grandparents, so I gotta kind of pop these things out. I'd rather not do it with that knife, I'd rather do it with this knife. <sighs> my kitchen knives are very sharp. I don't think this is cooked. No, this is, I gotta put the hamburger stuff back in. So, we're gonna cut. These potatoes are disgusting looking. I'm trying to cut them on camera, but I'm, you know, okay, let's move that a little closer. The only reason I heard to get your own knife when you do this is because of how bad this is. The, this little knife is. It's not sharp enough. These have got a, I think the burger's cooked. Oh, it smells so weird. Yeah. Yeah, the patty, the patty is cooked. The buns are not, so I'm going to go put those back in for another five seconds in a second. In a little bit. Where'd the packaging go? Shoot. I lost the main packaging part. Because I was going to be making the other stuff. Oh, I put it over here. Got it. Because we're going to make the cheese next. I washed the thing because that bun mixture just, no. So, we got to cut up the packaging a little more. My father would never like this because of how messy this is. He hates messes. Enough said. Okay, okay, okay. So then we're gonna cut out, I'm really bad at cutting things out, so we're gonna cut out the fry thing. I really should be doing this off camera, so never mind. We're gonna cut off the cheese part that we have to put the cheese on when we make it. Because it's gonna turn out to be like very similar to dough. So we'll put the fries off to the side for now, move the knife, and then we get our cheese. Now instructions, what do you do for the cheese? One little cup. My little cup, my measuring cup. Now this is supposed to turn into dough, like, um, like dough. I didn't smell it once. Oh God, that smells like chemicals, like straight chemicals. That's disgusting. Ah! Dropped my little cup. I hit my hand and dropped it again. Got the little cup. Let me wipe that off because it did fall on the floor. Okay, we get the one little cup for the cheese, and then we're gonna mix. Oh my god, this is already turning into dough. That's so weird. Now it says this is more like a dough consistency. Oh my god, it actually what it feels like is that Velveeta cheese stuff. That's what it feels like as I'm mixing it because I'm e it's easier to mix with my hands. And then the instructions to, oh, shoot, cheese. Ow, I dropped the cheese, fudge. Good thing it dropped on my paper towels that I put on the floor. Cause that would be bad. Now we're supposed to take the cheese, the little cheese ball, and you're supposed to mold it 
to this. Now, <laughs> this is supposed to make two cheese slices, but right now I don't think I can make two. Yeah, I had to dip my fingers in some water because it was really, really sticky. So I'm just going to make it into one somewhat cool looking cheese slice. And I'll eat the excess. Because actually I'm going to try this. If it tastes like cheese, I'm going to laugh. And pink. Now let's try this cheese. Oh my god, it tastes like cheese. And not that processed crap. It's a specific brand of cheese that, I, that it reminds me of. Ugh, I hate that when that happens. We're going to do the drink. Okay. So we're going to fill this up. A little un, a little over halfway. It says about one centimeter, but I don't have a ruler on me. So we're gonna do a little bit past the okay, that's about what it needs. Now I'm gonna take my soda packet, which is the purple. And it's supposed to taste like Coke, like Coca-Cola. Yeah. Oh my god, it's carbonating. That is so cute! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. And that's probably why they told you to fill it up to the line. You know what this smells like? It smells like that Japanese candy I tried in my previous video that I'm actually editing right now because I forgot to I forgot to uh, edit it again. <laughs> and then the ketchup. Ah, the instructions got cut off a bit, but at least it, I could see exactly how much. It said two scoops of water for the ketchup. And I put the ketchup in the cheese thing and I didn't wash it okay. There. Now we take this and we scrape off the cheese. That literally actually tastes like cheese. Ew, this is really watery. Ew. Yeah, this is not ketchup. That is very watery. I should have only added one thing. I'm probably never gonna buy this stuff again, so I wouldn't say next time I would put one, but for you guys who are probably gonna buy this, yeah. So, I'm gonna get off camera again, and I'm gonna put these back in for, they just feel very doughy. Let me try, let me try it again, because they were really just sticky. Maybe I needed to let them cool for a bit. Yeah, that's so weird. They're done, actually. Never mind. Wait. Here's our little buns. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God, it's adorable. Let's move that out of the way. Now we're supposed to be technically able to make two burgers. I think this is why they wanted you having a serrated knife because my non serrated knife is cutting through really well, but it's also not working. This knife is very sharp. There's one burger. You're supposed to make a double and a single burger, but it doesn't, you know, it, <laughs> The patty's not the most symmetrical. So one's gonna be a cheeseburger and the other one's gonna be a regular hamburger. Where's the bottom? Okay, that's a top and that's a top. So this is the bottom. So then we're gonna, actually, you know what? Both are gonna be cheeseburgers. I'm keeping an eye on my uh, battery. So then we're gonna put some ketchup on it. Just a little. You don't want a lot because then everything slides around. And I'm not gonna put the things together, screw that. So let's try all this. French fry. <laughs> Here's a little French fry. It just tastes like instant mashed potatoes. Oh wait, I forgot to put the burgers together. Burger. Better looking burger. Yeah, they just taste like um undercooked instant mashed potatoes. Thought I got a measuring cup full of water. Ah, oh, that tasted good. Good water. Actually, let me turn my little soda now. Because the water's room temperature, it it tastes like room temperature Coca-Cola. Oh, I hate the taste of room temperature soda. 
It doesn't bother me as much when it's, you know, non Coca Cola, but room temperature Coca Cola, and it's also super flat. So when you do this, you have to literally drink it the second you put the powder in. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Now, the fries are pretty good. Let's try this burger that doesn't have a lot of cheese. All I'm tasting is bread. I'm taking this one apart because I'm going to take a little bite of this. It tastes like a burger. But because the bun are, is so um, doughy, it doesn't, it, it masks the burger flavor. Pretty good though. I mean, I would never buy this thing again, so yeah. I might put this in the fridge and try this later when it's cold. It also said to start well with the spoon. Well, my spoon's covered in ketchup. Let's start together with the knife. Okay, now let's try it. No, it tastes like warm Coca-Cola. And that like, it's not even just room temperature. It tastes warm like someone left it out in the sun too long. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment down below. Um, comment down below, like the video. See, I told you, the camera setup is very strange, so my hands are kind of whacked up. Um, get yourself a nice measuring cup full of water and drink it. Yeah, I've actually drank it out of this thing. It's actually not the bad. It's a little harder to not spill it, but still. So like, comment down below, Share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And every like equals a cookie. I don't have any cookies at home, so a cookie was supposed to appear like randomly in my hand, like poof, there's a cookie. Because every like equals a cookie. I still don't have cookies here. But the other day I did have chocolate. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you guys want me to do more of these things because I found a whole bunch of them. I think I found like six of them for not that expensive on Amazon. And I ha and my family has Prime membership. So that helps, I could just use their account. <laughs> or if they let me. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Bye. I'm still trying to get into frame.